Welcome to the PHRM 7210 course. This course is entitled Special Topics in Pharmacy. This class will focus on Latin American pharmaceutical and biologics regulatory sciences, specifically focusing on the four larger markets in Latin America, Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, and Mexico. My name is Jonna Hodges, and I am the Assistant Director of the UGA Regulatory Sciences Program, and I want to welcome you to this class. Your course instructor is Professor Samuel Silva. Professor Silva is a faculty member with UGA Regulatory Sciences Program. He can be reached by email or by phone with the information listed here. Please note that Professor Silva is located in Brazil, a one-hour time difference from Eastern U.S. time. I am the course support person. Contact me should you have any technical difficulties or need to get in touch with Professor Silva right away. My contact information is also listed here. This course will officially start on Saturday, August 11th with the introduction module. There is no live class meeting on this date. You should start the class by reviewing the course syllabus. Your first activities include your autobiography and the current events article summary. Both are due the following Sunday. Be sure to upload those assignments to ELC using the assignment Dropbox tool. To get a jump start on this course, you should start by reviewing the course syllabus in ELC and familiarizing yourself with the course layout. Stay current with the course modules, activities, and assignments. There is no required textbook for this class. Your course readings will come from the Internet, including guidances from the International Conference on Harmonization and other sources. These reading activities will be outlined within the ELC course. Be sure to keep up with the readings. The Regulatory Sciences Program is committed to providing reasonable access and accommodation for people with disabilities. If you have a disability and require accommodation, please contact me, Jonna Hodges. We have tried to make all of our course content accessible. If, however, you find content that is not accessible and you require things like closed captions or transcripts, for example, for lectures or for live sessions or for a live session, like a Blackboard Collaborate session, please contact me early on so I can make the necessary arrangements for a transcription or closed caption service. Also, please consider registering with UGA's Disability Resource Center. Their web address is http colon slash slash drc.uga.edu and their phone number is 706-542-8719. If students would like to have a private meeting or individual time with the course instructor, please reach out to Professor Silva. If you require a web conferencing tool, please let me know. As for class meetings, if a class meeting is scheduled, we will attempt to give you at least a one-week notice. Like your other regulatory sciences courses, this class is broken down into a series of modules. Each module will include a learning activity. Some of the module topics include an introduction and industry organization, the process for product development and commercialization, as well as regulatory strategies and science procedures, to name just a few. Keep in mind that this is the first time this course is being taught. As such, there will likely be changes to the syllabus during the semester. Moreover, the lectures are being developed in real time, and I hope to have the lectures published with enough lead time for you to work ahead if that's what you need to do. However, be aware that there may be times when the lecture is not available for working ahead. A word about your assignments, papers, and other exercises. Be sure to see your ELC class for the details of the assignment activities, uh, including due dates. Be sure also to use the ELC assignment tool to submit any written exercises. And here are some additional comments about assignments and research papers. As graduate students and as working professionals, please put your name on all assignments. 
2. Wikipedia is not an acceptable sole resource. If you use it, you need to cite it and make sure that you find other references, more academically focused references. 3. In addition, all assignments should be thoroughly proofread and vetted for grammar, syntax, and coherency. It is your responsibility as graduate students to turn in quality assignments, assignments that you would turn in to your board of directors or to a regulatory body. Remember that the role of the instructor is not to serve as a proofreader or editor, but to ensure your understanding of the materials. If your papers or assignments are filled with grammatical errors or incoherencies or have, has not been vetted for grammar or syntax, you are likely to receive a failing grade for that assignment. Keep in mind, while you are in the Regulatory Sciences program, we are not only teaching you about regulatory sciences, we are also preparing you for careers in this field. If you submit a document to a regulatory agency and the agency cannot make sense of your document because of multiple errors or issues or you have not followed the directions, that agency official will refuse to read your submission and you could cost your company or your institution lost money and time. And a final word about papers and research, and that is to make sure that you properly cite any outside resources that you have consulted. Thank you for reviewing this video. Please reach out to Professor Silva or me should you have any questions about the syllabus, the content, or other needs. Best of luck for a successful semester, and we look forward to working with you this term.